Nice. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Kind of spaghetti him a bit. Everyone, Hedgedog here, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new, just released version 1.4 of Kerbal Space Program. And as you can see, or maybe you can't see because it's really tiny in the bottom right corner, it says 1.4 and then 0.2077, whatever, it doesn't matter, 1.4. And another little change, uh, it also says Take Two Interactive Software underneath. There's been a lot of talk about the new end user license agreement changes and I'm just going to say real quick that I don't feel like it's anything crazy and anything unexpected and probably not really going to affect anything unless uh, Take-Two decides to really, I don't know, change something. But to me, I feel like it's just going to pretty much be the same. So I'm not really worried about the changes. So um, let's take a look at some of the fun things that have been added. Uh, this is a brand new, completely stock game, um, no mods whatsoever. All right, so let's talk about what actually changed. So first off, we have a few new parts. Uh, the first one is the Mark 1 3 command pod. It's changed from the Mark 1 2. It's got reduced weight. It's got uh, RCS, which is amazing we haven't had that before so that's really good and it's got a brand new skin which just looks amazing look at the modeling on this thing you have it's got room for the rcs thrusters and it, they're actual holes like you can see actual holes so this is a really really nice job here that they did it just looks very very amazing let's take a look at all the other parts so let's go over the changes. So first off, we have brand new tanks. We have the baguette and the dumpling. And also we have a reskinned toroidal, which is now named the donut. So food items, snack items, I guess would probably be the best word. Very, very nice. Uh, we also have a brand new decoupler for the largest fuel tanks. We ha only had a stack separator. So this is a really nice addition. So speaking of decouplers and stack separators, look at all those. So every single size now has a stack separator and a decoupler. They've been reskinned, renamed, not that it matters too much, but here they are. So you can see all the different sizes, all the different combinations of uh, decouplers and stack separators. Stack separators naturally have two arrows and the decouplers have just one. Uh, next up, we have uh, the 2.5 meter tanks, uh, RCS tanks. They have been reskinned, and now they have two color options, uh, black and white, and white and orange. Very, very nice. Also, all the Rocco Max tanks have been reskinned, and now they have two color options. They have the old uh, orange one for every single size, and they also have... Um, these stripy Saturn-like textures. Uh, in addition, we, all the fairings have been reskinned, and now they have three color options. It's this white, yellow, white, and black, and blackish gray, orange. You can see them here. Very, very nice. I like them. Um, in addition to all of these, you can now jump from the vehicle assembly building to the space plane hangar with just a click of a button. Boom! Here we are. It just takes your craft right along. So again, very, very nice. And last but not least, you can also rename probe cores. Use this uh, configure vessel naming. You can give the, uh, the probe a priority. The highest priority will be the name of the ship. You can also change its type. So when you separate them, the names will already stick to that uh, second part. This is uh, a change from uh, just probes that would separate and then get like the name of the ship probe or the name of the ship lander. So this is a really nice change. Show you that in just a moment. Okay, so I want to show you uh, another one of the changes. So let's talk about vessel naming, right? That's always been an issue because the vessel gets the name 
of whatever you named it and then every part gets um, lander if it's got landing legs and it's got probe or it just turns into debris but this time you can actually name your parts whatever you want so I've named this dummy um, actually you can't tell Wait, let's do rename rename there we go so this one's named dummy uh, it's a ship and that's what this whole thing is actually labeled as but I also have a probe here and I've named it Oh, it doesn't get the name now? Okay, interesting. But I've already named it, and I think you'll see it as soon as I separate. So, let's show you two things. One, launch. So, here we go. Going up in the air. Very cool. Nothing, nothing really interesting going on here. Okay, let's shut off and separate. Now, this is still... Um, yeah, this is dummy, and it's a ship, and this one is booster, and it's a probe. See, it just automatically got renamed. Very nice. Now, I want to show you something else. So, we have a heat shield on this thing, but, um, whoops, we forgot a parachute. Not a problem, because, hmm, apparently I also forgot kerbals. That's weird. How? What? Where are? Where are all my kerbals? Huh. What? They're here! They're just not... Whoa! I don't know if this is a bug or what's going on here. You can see there are kerbals here. They just didn't appear on the side. So weird. Okay, anyway, yeah. Um, jump! and blow shoot and let's do another one jump and deploy shoot and bob jump and deploy shoot so now we have all three of these guys well they're falling and you can see they each have their own little parachute we have jeb bill and Bob, all with their own parachutes. So yeah, each one of them can now survive, even though I forgot to put a parachute on the pod. There we go, and you can steer them. Go down, up, turn around. Let's see if I can land all three of them on the VAB. Oh man, it's going fast. Oh, yes, yes, because I'm still going fast, <laughs> whoops. Nice! Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Okay. Kind of spaghettied him a bit. But at least he's okay. Uh, Jeb! Jeb! Go back. And Bill, you too. Go back. See if I can have them reach the VAB somehow, maybe? Maybe. It might happen. Okay, so another little change that happened is to the tracking station. Um, they've added one little button here called Sites. So there are now launch sites on the map view. I don't think this is relevant for the stock game, uh, but for mods, that's really helpful because uh, you couldn't do you couldn't do extra launch sites without just adding like blobs of things. So that should make it a little easier, uh, at least to mod extra launch sites. So that's another extra little change. Okay, so overall, not a whole lot of changes. There have been a bunch of bug fixes, uh, a bunch of texture changes. I think mostly it's just kind of uh, little improvements. The personal parachutes are a great little addition. Uh, there have been mods for it for a long time, but obviously. But anything that goes into the stock game is usually more stable and will have lasting support. So that's great. Super excited for the Making History expansion, which should come out next week. And I'm, I'm getting it, obviously. Uh, this is what I do, and I love this game, and it's definitely worth it. It's just $15. You should be able to you know, get the money to, to pay for it if you love Kerbal Space Program. At least, like, quarter as much as I do, <laughs> you should probably get it. Anyway, 
um, uh, this is it for 1.4 and hopefully we'll do another one on the Making History expansion next week. So, catch you then and I'll catch you in the next one.